What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back to the channel. Today, man, I gotta get this um hit me muscle thing off my dad's window, bro. Cause this joint looking tacky. I'm just losing letters after letters. These joints got to go, man. Joint been missing a letter for a minute. So I'm about to take that off. I think I got another one, but I gotta look for it. So I'm about to, uh, yeah, this train got to come off, bro. Starting to look tacky, you know what I'm saying? So I got, I got, I got to take this off, bro. Shouldn't be hard, especially since it's hot out here. I think I got some goo gone in the car, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this off, man. Anyway, man, today's video, I just want to talk to y'all about uh, when I was in quarantine, I tried to uh, get some numbers on a Daytona. The 2020 Daytona, it wasn't a wide body, it was just a skinny body. And uh, text the lady, lady texted me back. Um, I told her I had a trade. They did the little sight unseen uh, trade appraisal, which I think is crap anyway. They, they already know what they're going to give you for your trade anyway. But they lowballed me on my trade, gave me an out the door paperwork with the taxes, tags, dealer fees, with my trade, the negative equity, everything. I'm gonna show y'all what they said um, the out the door price was gonna be. Now y'all tell me if y'all think that's a good deal. 56K, man, I just can't seem to be paying that much for um, a 40 something thousand dollar car. They damn near gonna charge me 16,000 over what the car's worth. So that mean when I go to try to trade that joint in, I'm gonna already be in a hole 15 grand off the break. And that's just pretty much any car, when, definitely when you rolling over um, negative equity from another car. So I was pretty much rolling over a little over 10,000 um, from this car. And I know my car worth more than 17.5. Cause if you go online, go to nada.com, they say this car worth at least 19,000. So I text the lady back. Of course, they talking about they can't do they can't do any more on the price. They can help me out in the finance. And I'm like, how do you even know I want to finance a the car? They just automatically assume I wanted to finance it, but they wasn't trying to do no negotiating. So I just I never even replied back. So that's why I try to tell y'all, man, when you buy one of these cars, it's probably better to lease it. Um, that way, at least you can make up your mind by the end of your lease, whether or not you want to keep it. But if you want to mod it, if you end up getting it and you want to mod it, you probably, you can always buy it at the end of the lease, man. But I'm telling you, I am not financing another one of these cars, bro. That's any car, because I know me. I know I'm gonna want to switch. So that's why I ain't, I ain't made no move. Like I say, every time, um, I get ready to make a move with this car. I'm always hit with some ridiculous prices, man. And uh, I ain't about to do that. So I just wanted to make a video, man, showing y'all what kind of numbers I'm looking at trying to trade this car in. A lot of people say, man, just keep it. Um, I don't mind keeping it, but I'm definitely ready for something new. So I'm just gonna hold out, man, until I can, um, you know, my credit score gets higher. And I can get in a position where I can just lease my Hellcat because I ain't about to, I'm not about to just finance a uh, 392 and pay almost $60,000 for it. That's crazy, bro. Ain't no way I'm about to do that. So this is just a short video. I just thought that was interesting, man. I wanted to share that with y'all. So if this is your first time on my channel, man, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next video.